Hey, welcome back. So this week we're going to continue on with the 12 inch coaxial project. Let me show you what I've done. Okay, so what we have here, uh, this is what we had in the other video. So uh, we still have the problem of the transition uh, because the, the coaxial had to be mounted on the inside of the cabinet and we still have these these ridges here and also the problem of this this sharp edge here for the high frequencies and so what I've done with this cabinet we're gonna do a comparison is I've mounted the driver to the outside and I've filled in the gap that was formed with foam stripping and then I have the one millimeter thick foam paper that I've just stuck to it with a glue stick and this is gonna help smooth out that that small uh, transition there. So we'll do some measurements and see how much of an improvement this makes. Okay, so we are gonna measure the frequency response of the unmodified coaxial. So we're gonna start measuring here. Okay, so here's our frequency response. And I'm just gonna go over to the spectrogram and take a look at what the spectrogram looks like. Okay, so this is what that looks like. Now I'm going to measure the modified coaxial. Okay, so we're ready to measure the second coaxial with the modifications that I showed you earlier. Generate the spectrogram. And wow, you can see it looks a lot cleaner. So if we just go back and forth, you can see here this is unmodified and modified so we're actually seeing some changes to the phase um, not sure the reason for that but yeah definitely an improvement so let's go over to the frequency response and compare the frequency response I'm just going to change the color here um, so that we can distinguish it better okay so red is the modified um, and you can see here we're getting actually better uh, boost down to our crossover frequency at 2k and um, we don't have these nasty peaks so you can see here three and a half K there's a peak and at 7.6 K there's a there's a peak now that actually correlates back to our spectrogram where we see can stored energy uh, through through diffraction um, we're seeing spikes in the frequency response. So there's definitely a correlation there, 3.5K and 7.5K. So there you have it. Um, definitely improvement, and I can tell you um, subjective listening evaluation definitely proves out that there's a significant improvement um, just with these minor treatments. So uh, there you have it. That's it for this video. Uh, take care and see you next week.